Here's my fully honest review on Al Haramain Amber Oud Gold Edition. Let's go. This is not a review on whether this is a good clone of Zerjov Herba Pura. I don't own the bottle, I don't own a sample of it, so until I've smelt it, I won't make that video just yet. So the notes of this fragrance are gonna be up on the screen right now. As you can see, there's a lot of summer vibes with this fragrance. And let me tell you something. When I first got this bottle, it was way sweeter than it is fruity. And I thought there's no way this would be appropriate for the summer, but I was wrong. After about two weeks of using this fragrance, as it started to mature, I started to get a lot more juicy fruitiness. And that was when I realized, okay, yeah, this can definitely be used during the hot summer days. The melon and pineapple note work together to bring you that tropical, juicy, yet sweet vibe. The sweetness from the melon starts to get toned down a little bit as you use the fragrance, which is a good thing because I want this to be more juicy, fresh. And let me tell you something that is exactly what I get. And thank God for the fact that there are no prominent marine notes in this fragrance. There's a little bit of aquatic accords in here. This is my number one fresh summer fragrance. Of course, aside from Le Bollet Parfum, it's not going to beat my signature scent just yet, but this would be a close second. People online have compared this to luxurious shampoo that you find in one of those high class fancy hotels. It is a little reminiscent reminiscent of high-class shampoo, but in the best way possible. And since when this smelling like fresh out of the shower, shampooed up, lathered up, when was that bad? When was smelling clean bad? But forget the notes, guys. What does this smell like to the nose? Well, to me, you are picking up on that luxurious hotel shampoo for sure, but you are also picking up mostly on the freshly squeezed, freshly cut, wet, fruits. The pineapple is really not that noticeable. It's not dominant whatsoever, but it's subtle enough, perfectly blended enough for it to give you that tropical feel. In the dry down, there's supposed to be a little bit of woodsiness, musk, and vanilla, but mostly what I'm picking up on is that vanilla. But I know you guys want to know how this one performs. Guys, let me just put it this way. You will never have to think twice or doubt yourself on whether this scent is going to be smelt by everybody in the room you walk into. This one has over 10 hours of longevity, over four, five hours, hours of projection and the Siyaj is on the lower end of strong but it's still strong and very noticeable. The only issue I have with this fragrance is the price. This is a 60 ml bottle and it ran me back 300 ringgit which is yeah kind of on the high end. This is a perfect all year round fragrance guys it doesn't matter if you're in the winter it's going to perform spring autumn summer everything it will perform guys i have to be responsible and tell you guys that this is not blind buy safe whatsoever if you're a person who likes masculine smelling fragrances this is nowhere near masculine i would say this is significantly more feminine leaning although it is unisex so make sure you test and sample this fragrance on your own skin to see whether you like it or not i have samples on my website link in the bio because as I've mentioned before, this is not exactly a cheap fragrance. And the last thing you want is to spend 300 ringgit for just 60 mLs and be disappointed that it's too feminine leaning for your liking. On the days when I'm under high heat situations, I want something that's gonna last me 10 hours easy, I bust this bad boy out. All in all, if you like fruity, sweet, fresh fragrances that you can use all year round that are super versatile, make sure to give this one a check out, but do not blind buy this one, please.